Hi, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is going to be focused on grounding postures and we are going to be practicing earth salutations. I don't think I have a lot of earth salutations in many of my classes, but I hope you enjoy them. They can get a little bit intense. You're gonna be moving and breathing, but they are really low to the ground and they're gonna connect you with the earth. So I hope you enjoy those. And um, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. And if you um, want to support Phi Parks Yoga, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Um, also, one more note, we have put all of my playlists from retreats and classes, not all, I have hundreds, but we have started transferring my playlists to Spotify. So if you go to Spotify and search for Five Parks Yoga, you're going to find um, a number of my playlists, most, mostly the ones that I have used on my um, yoga retreats. They are curated for different classes, mostly... 60 to 75 or 90 minute classes. So I'm gonna start working on some shorter playlists so that you can just turn on some music and um, match it to the class. So check that out. I'm going to read you a quote that my dad sent me a couple days ago that I thought was very timely during this quarantine um, period of time. and. I hope you enjoy it. So it's written by John O'Donohue. This is the time to be slow. Lie low to the wall until the bitter weather passes. Try as best as you can not to let the wire brush of doubt scrape from your heart all sense of yourself and your hesitant light. If you remain generous, time will come good and you will find your feet again on fresh pastures of promise where the air will be kind and blushed with beginning. So I think that that quote is really timely and I hope that you'll just kind of take that in and really focus on this, the good things that are coming out of this time, slowing down and being present. So enjoy that during class. All right, let's get started today in a seated position. We're gonna um, practice a pranayama, a breathing technique called Robin's Breath. And um, I would recommend you start either in Sukhasana, which is easy pose with one leg in front of the other, or if you're comfortable with half or full lotus, you can come into either one of those postures. Rest your arms alongside your body and place your palms face up on your knees and just relax your fingers, lift tall through the crown of your head and close your eyes. Let's take three cleansing breaths here. So relax your jaw, relax your forehead, feel your sitting bones grounded on the floor. Breathe in through your nose. Big open mouth exhale. Go at your own pace. Two more. Breathe in. And one more cleansing breath. So we're gonna practice a moving pranayama called Robin's Breath. So bring your hands into Anjali Mudra at heart center. Take a deep breath in through your nose, lengthen through the crown of your head. As you exhale, you're gonna keep your gaze neutral, your spine long, and you're gonna bring your arms straight forward with your palms connected. As you breathe in, come into a cactus shape. Open your chest, lift your arms, Lift your chin. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands back together, right out in front of you, arms straight, but this time you're gonna dip your chin and look down toward the earth. Breathe in, bring your hands back to heart center. 
All right, so I'm just gonna start to cue this breath to movement. You can just kind of follow along as you get the hang of it. So breathe in here. Exhale, arms straight out in front of you, palms connected. Inhale, cactus, lift your chin, open your chest, open your shoulders. Exhale, bring your palms back together, straight arms right out in front of you, but dip your chin to your chest. Breathe in, come back to center. Exhale, extend your arms, inhale, open your chest. Exhale, palms together, chin to chest. Look down toward the earth. Inhale, hands back to heart center. Exhale, arms straight out, but keep your gaze neutral. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, chin to chest, hands together out in front of you. Breathe in, hands back to heart center. One more round, exhale. Arms straight out in front of you. Breathe in, open. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, hands to heart. And then exhale, hands back to your knees. We're gonna continue to warm up the spine with some neck rolls, so breathe in. Exhale, ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Come up and around for five, four, three, two, one. Pause with your chin to your chest and reverse direction. So five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center, bring both arms up overhead. As you exhale, come off to the left for a side bend. Bring your right arm up and over, bicep toward ear. Maybe your elbow comes down toward the floor. Keep your sitting bones grounded. Breathe in, come back to center. Breathe out, switch sides. So bring your left arm up and over. Keep your shoulder right in line with your hip. Maybe your elbow comes down toward the floor. Breathe in, come all the way back up. Breathe out, release your hands down toward the floor. Just walk your hands um, back toward your hips. Come into spider fingers. And as you breathe in, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Lift your chin up off of your chest. Look up toward the ceiling. And then as you breathe out, just walk your hands forward and then come into a seated forward fold, bringing your forehead down toward the earth. Exhale here. And then walk your hands all the way back up. And then just come into child's pose. So bring your knees wide, your big toes to touch. Bring your hips to your heels and then walk your hands forward and bring your forehead down to your mat or to the floor. And this is a very grounding pose, so feel every single finger on the floor. Feel your knees, your shins, your feet, and your forehead connected to the earth. Take three ujjayi breaths here. So breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Again, going at your own pace, the pace of your own breath. Deep inhales, elongating. Each breath, deep exhales. And just one more here. your way to tabletop of course continuing our spinal warm-up let's take some cats and cows bringing your knees underneath your hips and your wrists underneath your shoulders breathe in coming into cow pose and breathe out rounding your spine for cat pose again going at your own pace matching each movement to each breath And 
one more of each. Breathe in for cow pose. Breathe out for cat pose. And then we're gonna come from table, a neutral tabletop position into rock pose. So for rock pose, you're gonna bring your knees and your feet together. You're gonna sit your hips back on your heels, bring your hands onto your thighs. And if this is uncomfortable for you, you can always sit up on a, you can place a blanket or maybe a block between your heels and your hips to give you a little bit more height. Otherwise, just rest your weight down on your heels, roll your shoulders down away from your ears. So this is rock position, and this is gonna be our starting position for earth salutations. So for earth salutations, we're gonna start out slow. It's kind of a long sequence, so there's a lot of postures involved. And then we'll start moving breath to movement, just like sun salutations, as we get the hang of them. So you're gonna take a deep breath in and rock. As you exhale, you're gonna come into open rock. So you're just gonna simply bring your arms alongside your body, palms face out, and you're just gonna basically almost tap your fingers toward the floor. If they, It's fine if they don't touch the floor, but you're kind of reaching down toward the earth. On your next breath in, you're gonna come up to a kneeling position with your arms up overhead. So just press up. Lift your arms up overhead. You can maybe even look up toward your hands. And then your exhale is going to be a modified child's pose. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit your hips back toward your heels, but with a nice long straight spine and nice long straight arms, you're gonna come all the way down. So hips to heels, reach your arms out forward, bring your palms to the floor, bring your forehead to the floor, and your breath in is gonna be a caterpillar movement. So I'm just gonna scoot back a little bit on my mat. So you're gonna bring your forearms, elbows down toward your mat. You're just gonna bring forehead, nose, chin, chest, your whole body down toward the floor, and then you're gonna press up to a cobra pose and then you're gonna press back to downward facing dog. So you're gonna tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, press back. And for our first downward facing dog of this class, maybe for your day, maybe not, it's my first downward facing dog today, just take a moment and pedal out your legs and just wobble out your head, stretching the backs of both legs stretching your shoulders, lengthening your spine, releasing your neck. And take one more breath here. So on your next breath in, let's come to three-legged dog. So lift your right leg up and then open your hip and bend your leg. So you're gonna get a nice inner thigh stretch on your left side. And we'll just pause here again. You can circle out your ankle, your foot in one direction and the other direction. And try to square off your shoulders, building strength and flexibility here in your open three-legged dog. All right, from here, level your hips, straighten your right leg, look toward your hands, and then one time, just take your knee toward your nose, round your spine, pause here, hold for three, two, one. Come back to three-legged dog, and then on your next breath out, you're gonna come into pigeon pose. Yay, pigeon pose at the beginning of class. That's kind of exciting. You're gonna set your knee down toward your right knee toward your right wrist. Bring your shin down onto the floor. Bring the top of your left foot flat to the floor. Breathe in, lift up through the crown of your head, and then breathe out and release into sleeping pigeon, coming down onto a block or your fists or your hands. And so 
again, early on in class, let's just hold this for a minute as we open up our hips and our low back, continuing to warm up before we begin to build a lot more heat as we move breath to movement. So take another breath here. Come back up onto your hands. It's a tall pigeon. Tuck your left toes under. Lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Breathe in. And then downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Exhale, come back into rock pose. So right where we started. Bring your hands onto your thighs. We'll go to the other side now and we'll take it slow for the first round and then we'll start moving a little bit faster. So breathe in here. Exhale, open rock. So extend your arms long, palms face out, fingers come down toward the floor. As you breathe in, come up to kneeling and you're gonna bring both arms up overhead. Maybe look up and then exhale to a child's pose with your knees together. So a modified child's pose, reaching your arms long, bringing your hips toward your heels and then let's caterpillar our way toward cobra pose. So forearms and elbows down toward the earth, forehead, nose, chin, chest, your whole body. Lift up as you breathe in and then exhale downward facing dog. And again, let's hold here for just a few breaths. Feel free to take some movement here. Maybe swaying your hips side to side this time. All right, lift your left leg up for three-legged dog reaching your heel up toward the ceiling as high as you can and then open your hip, bend your leg. You can warm up your ankle by circling your foot in one direction and in the other direction. Level off your shoulders, building strength and flexibility here. And then on your next breath in, you're gonna level your hips, straighten your leg, and then exhale, round your spine, bringing your knee toward your nose, and hold for three, two, one. Three-legged dog, lift your left leg straight up toward the ceiling, and then exhale, half pigeon. So bringing your left knee toward your left wrist, your shin down onto the floor, Take the top of your right foot flat to the floor. Breathe in for a nice tall pigeon and then exhale for sleeping pigeon. And we're gonna hold here for a couple breaths, opening up the left hip, low back, inner thigh. Exhale here. Come back up onto the palms of your hands. Tuck your right toes under. And then inhale, three-legged dog. Sweep your left leg up. And then exhale, downward-facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out, come to rock pose. Back onto your shins, hips to your heels, hands onto your thighs. Breathe in and out. Continue to breathe. So earth salutations, like sun salutations, we're going to start to move breath to movement. Um, our pigeon is not gonna be held, so it's just a posture in the sequence. So I hope you enjoy 
moving through this very grounding sequence and move slow, move with your breath. So whatever pace that is for you, but just being intentional about every single movement, feeling how close to the earth you are as you move through this. All right, so let's start out here from rock. Breathe in. Exhale, open rock. Inhale, kneeling. Exhale, child's. Inhale, caterpillar to cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open your hip, bend your leg. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, round your spine. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, half pigeon. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, rock. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, open rock. Inhale, kneeling. Exhale, bow. Inhale, caterpillar to cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Open your hip, bend your leg, breathe out. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Three-legged dog on your breath in. Half pigeon on your breath out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Bow down, tap your forehead. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, release your knees, come to rock. Breathe in. Open rock. Inhale, kneeling. Exhale, bow down. Caterpillar to cobra, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Open, release, exhale. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Knee to nose, exhale. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Half pigeon, breathe out. Lengthen on your inhale. Release on your exhale. Tap your forehead to the floor. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Downward dog, breathe out. Breathe in. Rock. Exhale. Take a deep inhale here. Open rock. Breathe out. Kneeling. Inhale. Bow down. Exhale. 
caterpillar to high cobra. Breathe in. Downward dog. Breathe out. Lift your left leg up as you inhale, and then open up as you exhale. Three-legged dog, breathe in, knee to nose, breathe out. Three-legged dog, breathe in, half pigeon, exhale. Take a deep breath in, fill your lungs, lift through the crown of your head, Release half pigeon. Three legged dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale, rock. Bring your hands onto your thighs. Earth salutations. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you like those. It's the first time I've done, on, done them on my channel. So we're gonna come into toes pose, and then we're gonna continue to do some postures on the ground. We'll do some standing, grounding, balancing postures as well. So come bring your all 10 toes underneath. Bring your hips to your heels. So this is a great stretch for your toes, your feet, your ankles. And we'll just take a couple breaths here. One more breath in toes pose. Feeling the heat in your feet. And then you can release Come onto your hands, just give your feet a little bit of a shake. And then you're gonna separate your feet, bring your hips between your heels for hero pose. So you can sit on a block if you need, or you can come back to rock pose. It's a great stretch for your quads and your knees if you have any knee issues. And then you can stay upright here in hero pose, or maybe you've already reclined, which is great. You can recline if you want, taking your hands behind you, maybe your forearms, maybe coming all the way down onto your back. And just take a couple breaths here. Exhale. If you're reclined, walk your hands all the way back up. If you are in hero pose, you can keep, that's a big freight train going past the house, that's that noise. You can keep your left leg in half hero, or of course you can bring it to your right inner thigh. We're gonna take half hero, half lotus twist. So bring your right foot to your left hip your right hand out behind your hip. Lift your left arm up, and then bring your left hand to your right knee. Sit up tall, breathe in, lengthen through the crown of your head, and then start to look out over your right shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe in, bring both arms back up overhead, and exhale, release your hands down to the ground. So bring your right foot down onto your mat if it's not already, and then you can just release your left foot a little bit further away from your hip. We're gonna come into a heart opener. Bring your right hand out behind you. Lift your left arm straight up, your left hand straight up toward the ceiling. Lift your hips up. Press them forward, lift up, look up, and then maybe sweep your arm back and look back. Nice heart opener, low to the ground. Really engage your 
glutes here as you lift your hips up and forward. And then exhale, release all the way back down onto the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together for butterfly pose. So draw your heels in, wrap your hands around your ankles, bring your elbows toward your knees, and then start to hinge forward, maybe a little bit, maybe a lot. If you want, you can bring your forehead toward your toes, or you can stay upright as well. Just keep your shoulders away from your ears. Feel the stretch in your low back, inner thigh, in your hips. And exhale here. If you're folded forward, release, come all the way back up. We're gonna take half hero, half lotus on the other side. So you're gonna come back onto your knees, bring your right foot a little bit off to the right. Well, you can come into hero to start off with. Again, rock posture is an option if this is a little bit too intense for your knees. So you're gonna bring your left leg, your left foot toward your right hip. Half hero, half lotus twist. Bring both arms up overhead as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring your right hand to your left knee, your left hand out behind. Now keep your shoulders over your hips, crown of your head in line with your spine. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, just deepen your twist, looking back out over your shoulder. And breathe in. And out. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Come back to center. Exhale, release your arms. And then release your left foot back down, your left shin back down onto your mat. Give yourself a little more space with your right leg. So bring your right shin a little bit wider. Left hand out behind for the chest opener. So lift your right arm straight up. Lift your hips. Press your hips up and forward. And then look up toward the ceiling as you reach your right arm up and then maybe back. Breathe in. And release. From here, we're gonna come into Dandasana, which is staff pose. So bring both legs out in front of you. Feet are at hip distance apart, toes facing straight up, quads are engaged. Feel both sitting bones grounded on the floor evenly. Bring your hands alongside your hips, palms face down, and then lift through the crown of your head. Not a lot of activity in your arms here, but just continue to drive your shoulders down as you lift through the crown of your head. So this posture doesn't look like a lot, but it can be really intense if you're working on building strength in the backs of your legs or your back. So hold here. And then on your next breath in, bring both arms up overhead for seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. So you're gonna reach your hands toward your feet. If you can't reach your feet, that's totally fine. Just walk your hands forward. Try to keep a nice, long, extended spine versus just flopping over your legs. So you're really reaching your forehead forward toward your toes. Last breath in. On your exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper into your fold. 
Breathe in, bring both arms up overhead. Maybe look up towards your fingertips. Exhale, release. All right, let's make our way back to a downward facing dog. So you can just cross over your ankles, plant your hands on the floor. Walk your feet back. Maybe a quick pedal of your legs and a shake of your head. Just coming back to this comfy, familiar pose. And then you're gonna look toward your hands and then just take a couple of steps towards your hands with your feet. Bend your legs a lot and come into ragdoll. And just release your spine here. You can round, maybe take opposite hand toward opposite elbow and hang. Maybe sway side to side. Deep ujjayi breaths. Feeling your feet firmly planted on the floor. Noticing the sound of your breath going in and out through your nose. Feeling tension and stress just roll off your back, down off your neck. Feeling the weight of your head just hanging heavy, no tension. And come back to center. If your hands are not already, go ahead and release them down toward blocks or the floor or your shins and breathe in halfway lift lengthen your spine start to lengthen the backs of your legs and then breathe out come into standing forward fold breathe in halfway lift and breathe out standing forward fold one more time half lift Standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Bring your hands back down toward the floor and then heel toe your feet out to the outer edges of your mat at about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna come into Malasana. So just lower your hips down toward the ground. Bring your elbows toward your knees. Bring your hands toward your heart. Reach tall through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, you're just going to take your the tops of your arms and your hands and then just slide them out to the outer edges of your feet and then wrap them around your ankles. And then just press your elbows into your knees and then just round your spine, looking back toward the back of your mat. Get a nice firm grip on your ankles. Release the grip on your ankles. Keep your feet right where they are. And then you're going to take your left leg straight out behind you so you're in a wide-legged low lunge. Reach through the crown of your head. Exhale, release your left knee down to the floor. Bend your left leg. Reach your right hand around for your left foot. If you can't hold on to your left foot, you can always just reach back. So you're getting a nice twist in your spine. This just gives you the quad stretch in addition to the twist and the lunge. Release your back foot down onto the floor. Take your right hand back down onto your mat and step back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, come into a high plank position. Knees on the floor are an option and hold for three, two, one. With chaturanga arms, lower all the way down onto your belly. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor and you can bring your feet together. Bring your arms straight out in front of you. Connect the palms of your hands, cross your thumbs. 
Bring your forehead down onto the floor. Reach through the tips of your fingers and through your toes so you have a nice long body. You're gonna take a couple breaths here and just feel your entire body connected to the earth and listen to the sound of your breath as it goes in and out through your nose. your shoulders, tuck your toes under, press up to a high plank pose, back to a downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Look toward your hands, walk your feet toward the front of your mat. Right away, come into a halfway lift, breathe in, and then exhale, standing forward fold. On your next breath in, come all the way to Tall Mountain. This is going to be our biggest, tallest posture during this class. Bring your hands together above your head and then exhale, hands to your heart. Press your thumbs to your sternum and then just take a moment to find your feet. So notice each of your 10 toes pressed firmly onto the floor, onto your mat. Feel your heels, and then working your way up from your feet, just notice your calves, your shins, your quads. Tighten up through your core, natural curve in your low back. Lift through your chest, and then if you feel balanced, close your eyes. If you don't feel balanced, open your eyes and then find a steady place to gaze. And then just take a moment here, finding your feet firmly rooted into the earth. Just rock your weight forward to your toes. Walk, rock your weight back towards your heels, right to the very edge of your balance. Forward, back, deep breaths in and out through your nose. Forward, back. Come back to neutral, find that neutral place where you feel relaxed in your standing position. Rock to your right, rock to your left, to your right, to your left. Come back to that neutral position. Last thing here, take a circle in one direction, doesn't matter which one, for three, two, one, and then just switch directions. Just noticing the outer edges of your feet, the inner arches, your heels and your toes. We're gonna take one more. All right, and then come back to neutral. Breathe in here. Exhale, mountain pose. So bringing your arms just like we did an open rock. So arms alongside your body, palms face out, fingers reach down, tall mountain. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Step all of your weight into your right foot and come into tree pose, lifting your left foot up. You can either bring it to your ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Five breaths here. You can keep your hands at heart center. You can lift them up like tree branches. You can connect the palms of your hands up over your head like we did on the floor. Or of course, you can bring your arms behind you in reverse prayer or opposite hand toward opposite elbow for one more breath here. 
exhale, release to mountain. Breathe in, tall mountain. Exhale, hands to your heart. Step all of your weight into your left foot and then come into tree on the opposite side. Ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Any arm variation is welcome. Five breaths here. Exhale, come back to mountain pose. Now you're gonna heel toe both feet out to the outer edges of your mat, back to a 45 degree angle. So your toes are just at an angle, but still in line with your heels. Breathe in, bring both arms up overhead. Connect the palms of your hands above your head and then exhale to just take a little mini squat here, bringing your hands through heart center, circle them up, breathe in. As you exhale, Hinge from your hips, bring your arms out to the side, palms face down, come into a flat back position, head in line with the spine, looking down at your mat. Bring your arms out in front of you, inhale, connect the palms of your hands above your head, and then exhale, just release into a ragdoll position. Breathe in, come up to a halfway lift. Breathe out, come all the way back down into your wide squat. We'll take three more breaths here. Bring your hands to heart center, or if you need support for your balance, hands can be on the floor. If you have tight ankles, you can always roll up your mat or place a blanket or towel underneath your hips. Take one more breath here. Okay, bring your hands down onto your mat. Keep your left foot right where it is and extend your right leg back so you're in a wide-legged low lunge. Inhale, reach through the crown of your head. Exhale, release your right knee down onto the floor. And then we'll take that quad stretch. So bring your right foot flat to the floor. If you can't reach your foot, you can always just reach back with your left arm and hold here. Nice twist in your spine. Otherwise, bend your leg, take hold of your foot, and then just draw your heel in. Last inhale here. Exhale, release. Come back to center and step back to a high plank. Hold for three, two, one. Release your knees down onto the floor, cross over your ankles, and then make your way down onto your back. So place the soles of your feet flat to the floor and then just roll all the way down. Bring your feet to mat distance apart. Bring your arms to goal post, palms face up, and then just rock your legs side to side. One more to each side. Come back to center, heel toe your feet back to hip distance apart. Extend your left leg long on your mat. Hug your right knee into your chest, hold on to your right knee, flex all 10 toes back toward your knees. Oh, those are my ankles popping. Bring your right knee up toward your right shoulder. Nice, tight squeeze here, elbows in and down, neck nice and long. And then exhale, bring your right knee across your body for a reclined twist. Breathe in and out.
Come back to center. Bring your left foot back in, stamp it to the floor. Your leg is bent, cross your right ankle over your left knee. We're coming into reclined pigeon pose. For reclined pigeon pose, just lift your left foot up off the floor, hold on to your thigh or your shin. Exhale, release. So let's do those couple postures on the other side. So extend your, le your right leg long on your mat. Hug your left knee into your chest. Flex your feet back. Bring your left knee toward your left shoulder. Elbows in and down. Neck nice and long. Deep ujjayi breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, left knee across your body for a twist. back to center and let's take reclined pigeon on this side. So you're just going to bend your right leg, place your foot flat to the floor, cross your left ankle over your right knee, lift your right foot up off the floor, hold on to your thigh or your shin and just draw your right knee in, press your left knee open. Inhale, exhale, release, uncross your legs, and then bring both knees into your chest for Appanasana, knees to chest pose. Reach opposite hand toward opposite wrist or elbow. Nice, long, flat spine as much as you can. And then separate your knees and feet for happy baby pose, holding on to whatever is accessible, drawing your thighs down toward the floor, maybe rocking side to side, massaging out your spine. back to your chest. This time round your spine. Bring your forehead toward your knees, just giving yourself a little hug, a little appreciation and gratitude for showing up here. And then making your way to Shavasana. Bring your legs long on your mat. Let your feet fall open, arms alongside your body. Let your palms face up. Breathe in deeply through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. The same way we started our class. Let's do one more cleansing breath. Breathe in. rhythm of your breath. This is the time to be slow. Lie low to the wall until the bitter weather passes. Try as best you can not to let the wire brush of doubt scrape from your heart all sense of yourself and your hesitant light. If you remain generous, time will come good and you will find your feet again on fresh pastures of promise where the air will be kind and blushed with beginning. If 
you have the time and space, you can continue to enjoy your Shavasana. Thank you so much for making time to come to your mat today, to breathe, to be present, to be grounded. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. From my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste. Thank you.